hi in the following footage i'm an idiot and i face the camera in the wrong direction and i i realized that i faced the camera in the wrong direction however even though i realized that i'm still looking at the wrong side because i'm stupid please okay i'm not stupid i need to not i just made a mistake please forgive that please enjoy the following footage i just want to put this little warning like hey i'm looking at the wrong place editing cassie knows this i'm so sorry uh, yeah all right <laughs> All right, there we go, my. All right, hello, hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, new. My name is Cassie Joseph. I'm a cat and online content creator for a living. If you'd like to know more about me and you're 18 plus, please check out my links in the description. Yes, I have an OnlyFans. Uh, yes, I sell explicit content. This is my outfit for shooting content today. I just wanted to shoot a YouTube video since I'm rolling a blunt anyway. So yeah, 18 plus, com uh, um, in the description down below. If you find me semi-attractive too, that'd be awesome. Do probably, maybe. Okay, anyway, awkward. <laughs> I am 27, living in the state of California where it is where it is legal to smoke medicinally and recreationally. If you would like to smoke with me, feel free to do so only if you are in a place where it is legal and you are of age, all right? Cover all our bases, we here. All right, hello, how you guys doing? This video is about how I feel fucking ugly or how I felt ugly. Yeah, let's talk about it. I want to roll a blunt. I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers nowadays like a lot of youtubers that i watch that do weed content all of a sudden like make videos where they're rolling blunts and hey i haven't done that and what the fuck and i've been uploading content smoking a weed for how long now what the fuck but anyhow so as you know or may or may not know in january i shaved my head bald or i had my boyfriend shave my head bald at first i felt fucking amazing it felt freeing i'll put the link in the description i made a video about it it's a two-part like two part, two different videos. Part one, part two, part one, I think is on my main channel and part two is on my second channel, I vice versa. But, oh, if you wanna know what strain we're smoking or what strain I'll be smoking today, it's from Old Pal, Old Pal Flower. It's a hybrid and it's, Ooh, what is this? Dead bread, okay, wow. Dead bread, this is the packaging, by the way, if you wanna. Okay, that's not gonna, that was too bright. Okay, there you go. Hi, this was the packaging. Sorry if I'm looking at the wrong areas. I definitely, you know what? I'm, <clears throat> I'm back. I had to get water, <laughs> cotton mouth. Fun fact about me, I don't drink soda. I only drink water. Unless I'm out to dinner with my boyfriend, then that's when I'm like, ooh, I'm technically way above the age of 21. I should probably try some alcohol. Why not? I like I like tasting because at 9 times of 10, I can't handle anything and I'm gonna think it tastes like shit, but I like trying it anyway, but I digress. That's neither here nor there. That was just a random fun fact. But uh, yeah, I shaved my head bald and long story short, it was supposed to help me with my confidence. I would have a lot of breakdowns in relations to my hair and it did, it helped so much. Being bald, I felt so beautiful, so confident. Oh my fucking God. Not an, like, okay, initially my head was like bald, bald, like zero. That was hard. That was very hard. Cassie with the zero, no, you guys didn't see that. <laughs> Y'all will never see that. I have footage of that. That will remain behind locked, closed doors forever. But when I got to, I think my boyfriend told me it was like a two that's when that was perfect ironically that's like how short my dad used to wear his hair funnily enough um i loved it i loved it so much but the thing that i didn't realize was that that wasn't gonna last long if i wanted to keep growing my hair out if i'm if i want to keep my head bald then yeah that's one thing i want to keep my head bald then I would like, you know, go back and get my head shaved at a two and that would have been fine. Smooth sailings, this would not, this video would not exist. But that's not why we're here today. This video does exist, in fact. Hi, hello, how you doing? I'm in the awkward phase, the awkward short phase. It start, it literally start, like I had, I think maybe one, one month, maybe one and a half to two months of where I felt like confidence January, February, and then came crashing down. I, it felt like, because I, I had a fro, it was a tiny baby fro and I wasn't used to that. I used to having such a, like my big fro. And even back then I thought my fro was small. And in retrospect, 
it wasn't but <laughs> i tried going on youtube to try to find like short hairstyles i couldn't find anything with my hair type because i have 4c hair 4c thick ass oh my motherfucking god hair i love my hair don't get me wrong but i have a love-hate relationship with my hair because i still struggle like this looks good from the front but y'all aren't gonna see it from the back <laughs> i was doing like at first there's like two rows of small braids and my hair is long enough to do like tiny braids gets the ends like i could start out the braid but so i started two rows of that and i was like okay i'll do i'll corn row the rest i'm really happy with how good i'm how much better oh, you can tell i did way better on this side fuck man i couldn't find anything and like the only videos that i found it would be like just putting a bunch of gel just to make the curls pop as much as possible and wear it out and it felt like because of i didn't and the person that i saw the video from didn't have my hair type it felt like no matter what i did no matter what product i would leave a white cast or my, my hair would still be frizzy and or feel like it was frizzy and I I felt ugly and it felt it lies deeper than that though because I know it's because I still I'm still struggling with like the confidence that I had within my hair even though I had that love-hate relationship with my hair when it was long now being a black woman it feels like there were a bunch of like standards on us before but holy fucking shit in 2021 it feels like it's gotten that much harder to be found as beautiful to be found as appealing you don't you don't need to be found as appealing by anybody but yourself by the way live for yourself and that's something that i have to i'm still struggling with like the self-love journey is a lifelong li lifelong journey you know what i mean but with my job being an online content creator doing sex work my what i how i look does play a factor the brilliance of the sex work community is that anyone can make it regardless of what you look like however pretty privilege does exist you have to work with what you got and rock what you got confidently and that's where i struggle the fucking most i don't have a lot of content with my natural short hair I, don't, I, I think the first scene I filmed was Valentine's Day content and to this day I think I only have two scenes with my bald head, that's it. And then when it comes to my fro, I probably have like three or four videos with my fro, but that's it. After that it's wig, 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 or my braids. And there's nothing wrong with having a protective style like that's the whole point but at the same time i want like right now i feel fucking beautiful i'm really proud of myself because i was able to at least put my hair a little bit more down braid it do something with it a little bit more down and it looks like neat and sleek on camera in person it does look like this but there's like a, i'll come closer and see you can see the closer i get there's a white cast because of the products that i used more than likely but at the same time i still love it but i would i wear my hair like this in public no no, I wouldn't. That makes me fucking sad because like I feel confident with the way that it is, but I know how it looks from the back. Where I would wear it if I like tied a bandana backwards or wore a beanie or something, but that's nothing here nor there. I digress, moving forward, moving right along. I find, oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> and then now all of a sudden other people are being praised for that, for what you were made fun of for. Um, everyone getting into, this is random, but like everyone getting into anime and manga, which I love, like I'm fantastic, awesome. Like I'm happy that um, because of that, because of the love, there's been more money flooded into the industry. So it's been the chance to have, there's been a chance to have way more um, shows, ad adaptations and light novels and mangas and what have you. But the downside to that to me, not the downside, but what I remember is getting made fun of because I loved watching anime. All the way in elementary school, I got made fun of, especially for being black and watching anime. I watched other, like, and it would be, and they do, the thing that kills me, it would be like, the people that would give me the most shit would be my fellow black community, my fellow black brothers and sisters or peers or what have you. And I would see like, the one, the only other black guy that liked anime get made fun of. Probably wasn't the only other one, but he was the only other one at the time that I can remember that I can think of. And he was really, he was really sweet. He was always really nice to me and he could draw. He was really talented at drawing, but anyway, I digress. I digress, I digress. Smoking a uh, Swisher Sweet Classic Silver. Slow burn, ooh. <laughs> yeah, and when it comes to hair, especially you have to have, it feels like you have to have thick, beautiful hair or you have to know how to do hair. It's not even just the fact of having thick, beautiful hair. You have to know how to do hair or know how to lay your wigs. Baby hairs, you either have to have them or know how to fake it till you make it. You know what I'm saying? All these extra layers 
and it feels like I'm just, I'm at the starting line still, you know what I mean? And with my short hair, I found comfort being able to wear wigs. But now that my fro has grown in, I have to go back to, now I'm already, it feels like it's only, this is July, it's only, it's the seventh month, it's gonna be August by the time you guys see this video. Already, the eight, like eight months later, it feels like so fast that I have to find a way or learn how to do cornrows in my head because I don't know how to do that. I can do small braids, but my hair isn't long enough to do the regular braids that I would normally do, obviously speaking, because my hair was like down to here, I think. And the whole point of me shaving my head was to learn how to take care of my hair better, was for me to learn to love my hair again or to love myself again and not have to hide behind or only feel like I'm pretty with my hair you know what i mean but ironically speaking it did help a lot with my confidence oh my god i it helped so much but now i'm at this it feels like when i lost my bridge piercing you guys remember like that that broke me because like, facial piercings mean so much to me like especially when it comes to my identity and my aesthetic it sounds simplistic in its first world problems but how you present yourself looking at yourself you do it for you and how you feel and how it makes you feel good looking in the mirror and if there's something that you know that you like and that you've had for so long that made you feel so good and it's gone like my bridge bro that hurt <laughs> that sucked but now with my hair even though when i had my longer hair i didn't know there's barely i could braid it but that was it i could put it into puffs i couldn't even put it into a bun i would have so many mental breakdowns and now I'm, it feels like I'm, I don't, I'm at a loss. Like genuinely, like comment down below if you have any advice for me, if you've shaved your head before and you, especially if you have 4C hair, like let me know because I'm genu I'm genuinely, I, I want to shave my head again. I do because my god sister, I love her so much. She shaved her head and she was like, you should, <laughs> if you're going to shave your head, you should have your head shaved for a year. It's not worth it in a sense, which I understand. But also like people shave their head for hair growth. People share that shave their head to start over. But her saying that there were so many things that I wanted to do when my hair was much shorter. So many things. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing, guys. I'm so sorry. I had it in my lap like the entire time. My bad. But there are so many things that, yeah, that I want to do and that I know I can do if only I was able to learn it. And th thankfully, like we have YouTube, YouTube videos, so many channels that cater to natural hair, but fuck, it's one thing to see someone do it on their head so smoothly, so easily. It's an entirely different situation to do it for yourself. Entirely di different situation. I'm really proud of myself today. Today is like the best that I felt with my short fro. And this is a style that I can't even wear out, but I still feel beautiful. Like I'm actually gonna shoot with my hair with my hair like this not putting a wig on right now which is saying something for me right now with the short hair you know which wasn't always the case because literally when i had my longer hair i didn't hide behind my wigs i wore my wigs but i also loved wearing my fro out or wearing my poofs out but trying to do any other hairstyle, like there's so many that I want, so many simple hairstyles. Fucking a bun, dude, a bun. I'm probably not, oh, I've been looking at the wrong place the whole time, I'm gonna have to mark that, I'm sorry guys. It's because the camera's flipped, so I've literally been looking, I'm so sorry, I'm looking at the, hi. It's like 16 minutes in, I'm so sorry. I have the camera flipped the wrong way because I was taking, I was filming content for my Just For Fans account. Link in description, by the way, it's on sale. I had it flipped one way, so when I turn it to film a video with you guys, I ended up being backwards, but at least it's gonna be right, right, the right way. Right way, yeah, anyway, anyway. The whole point was for me to feel more confident with my hair and for me to learn how to do my hair better. But at the same time, I see other girls that are, and I hate that, it's like, it's not a contest, life's not a contest, and I keep screaming that in my head, right? I keep screaming that at myself, but then I'll see other black girls that are that are made amazing at doing their hair, like, holy shit, dude! The looks, the colors every day, day after day, my God. And they worked hard, obviously, like, they didn't, they were born with those skills, like, they had to start somewhere, but it feels like I'm never gonna even match that to, for myself, you know what I mean? Yeah, I could go pay someone, to like do my hair and take care of my hair but i want to be able to do my hair for myself because when i have kids i want to do my kids hair like my mom did my hair and her mom did her hair i want to do my kids hair i want my kid to watch me doing my own hair and obviously they're gonna like what oh sorry obviously they're gonna like watch youtube probably more than likely to like an or whatever social media platform at that time exists to like make video content of course they're gonna like find other people they want to like 
look look like i guess or find hairstyles that they want but if they need advice i'm lucky that i can call my mom because like oh shit, i'm lucky i can call my mom because she knows about hair and i want to i want to do be able to be that for my child i want to accept myself as i am not with a wig on not with my hair wet my hair dry too, man. Like when my hair is wet, that's when you can see the curls. Of course, that's when you can see the fucking curls, of course. But as it dries, fuck. I wish it were longer, I wish it were different, I wish it were a different curl pattern. And that makes me the saddest whenever I have the thoughts of like, I wish it was, I wish it was uh, looser, I wish I had looser curls. Because 4C hair is so beautiful. It's so beautiful, oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> Cause 4C hair, God damn it. <laughs> Cause 4C hair is so beautiful. I have white socks on, white thigh highs on, even though I, like, look at me, I'm literally, <laughs> hi, I have white thigh highs on, even though I know I should change the color, but as you can tell, like, my lips were all on this blunt. I don't like just, like, passing it to someone as is. I, that's when I, like, seal it, which I'll show you guys in a bit. Actually, I can fix the camera. So as I go get a lighter and, like, do the ending of this video, I can fix the camera. All right, time to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and we're back we came back the camera is the right way i filmed a little like hey warning in the beginning to put the beat in the beginning of the video to let you guys know that i'm an idiot i'm not an idiot damn it <laughs> that i made a mistake but it's always hard as fuck drinking water when you got shit, fucking stuff on your lips wow that was really fucking hard but anyway but yeah like i said i just seal with the lighter i seal around the blunt that way the moisture the moisture goes away and people aren't fucking smoking my saliva people as in me and my boyfriend hang out with people <laughs> who do we smoke with nobody <laughs> anyway time to light this isn't it a beauty <laughs> sorry <laughs> well let's put my ashtray here so it's not like an empty gap <laughs> So, all in all, to sum <coughs> I guess to summarize everything, right now I'm struggling with my natural hair confidence. My overall, <coughs> my overall confidence I think is coming along as it's coming along. I feel beautiful with no makeup on. I feel beautiful out of the shower. I want to feel beautiful too. When my hair is dry and it's just a fro, it's okay if it's small. There's nothing wrong with tiny fros. Tiny fros are fucking adorable. Lupita Nyong'o. When she first became huge for the for her role in the movie when she got her her the her oscar for best supporting actress she had like a tiny a mini fro and also like i think it was like shaved on the sides but very just so many different hairstyles with a small fro that was so beautiful and so cute and i loved that i admired that so much i it just makes me mad that i why can't i see that within myself that's where i'm struggling with why the fuck can't i see that within myself but that's why therapy is important as I've said time and time again, I just, I want this to be a place where you guys <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Dying Ooh. And it's hot, Ooh, lord But anyhow, <coughs> I'm gonna turn the AC on after I'm gonna film this video while I shoot my news <laughs> But I want this place to be a space to be somewhere where you guys feel comfortable to talk about your mental health it, it always it always made me happy in the past the fact that you guys would come to me and talk to me about where you go with human being so open and honest with me but also at the same time i'm not a licensed professional so make sure that you are seeking the appropriate guidance whenever especially needed you know what i'm saying but that's why like i encourage you guys i'm seeking therapy again please i encourage you if you haven't tried it yet and even if you have tried it try it again some people take um, some people have to talk to multiple different psychiatrists before they find the right one for them It's nothing negative on you nothing at all it's like how you how do you expect out of there there's billions of people on this planet there are so many psychiatrists how do you expect the first one the second one even the third one to be the right match for you when there are so many others out there you know what i mean and it can be tiring and, I, and i'm not saying like therapy is the only way if you haven't tried it or you've only tried it once or twice please i encourage you try again i'm trying again and 
I know that's gonna fuck. I know that's gonna help, especially like with figuring out my thing with my natural hair. Like I, I want to feel beautiful as I am. Completely, not in one, not as Cassie Joseph, not in, not fresh out the shower. I want to feel beautiful no matter what. Like, cause of course you're gonna have moments where you look in the mirror and you're like, oh shit. But I still want to feel comfortable with myself. Not ashamed of my, not ashamed of myself. That was the conversation that I wanted to have with you guys. I was gonna roll a blunt to shoot content. Bitch! What the fuck? Fuck you. Fuck you. There's a fly. One fly that's been here since last night. One singular fuck you motherfucker. It's gone. One singular fly. And I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get I'm gonna fucking get him. But anyhow. I'm no, I'm not in a in the best place mentally enough to be a dominant, and I'm just I don't have the confidence for that right now. But once I'm once I'm afar, yeah, yeah, once I'm in a much better place, I definitely want to for my dominant content. I'm good with doing occasional custom content, obviously as a femdom, because that, that's so much easier for me to script. Del, because I have a Twitter account and a Frisk page for my dominant content, but that's they're both on hiatus for now. I smoked a little bit, a little bit. Uh, I'm already high. I'm already high. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much for listening and hanging out with me. Sorry if I looked at my profile. You could see how fucked it is. Ooh, you guys could probably see the fly. You motherfucker. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> comment your thoughts down below if you've ever felt like how I feel. Um, any advice if you have any, any hairstyle tips if you have any for short 4C hair because I because I am gonna <clears throat> put it back in protective styles and put more braids in it. It's just right now I'm doing cosplay content for my Patreon and just in general, and I don't want to put braids in my hair until I have that cosplay concept done. I should be done with it this week. Once I'm done with it, then back to braids for a month. I'm so fucking hyped. Yeah, thank you so much for listening, guys. Please uh, subscribe if you're new, drop a like. Um, yeah, it helps out a lot. And yeah, thank you for listening. Please remember to be kind to yourselves. Please stay hydrated. We'll not sit together. Bye guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs>